so Ozobot is our introduction to the gaming world. Uh, we thought that app games were creating more of a solitary gaming, and we thought if we can bring a physical game piece to the app world, we can now change the whole mindset from solitary gaming to social gaming. Uh, and it starts with our Ozobots. Um, they will follow a basic line on a piece of paper. Um, and we've taken that concept and taken it right onto the tablet. So this is the tablet. Um, we just drew this, these lines. I'll put Ozobot right on it. It will start to see all of these. Um, that was a reverse code. It just read to go backwards. That's another code it's going to read. This is our spin code, which will make it go with, into a little spin cycle and keep on going. These are all little codes that, that are written right up, up here. So Ozobot, um, kids get to understand how to, how to start programming um, through, through color, color codes. And, and so this will work on a tablet, but it will also work on paper. Correct. And so what we've been able to do is um, start to really bridge both physical and digital together, and we've introduced hybrid games that um, that allow you to play on on paper and then jump right onto a digital tablet. And we've introduced um, games over over there, as you see down down there. That's our race game, okay. which will um, which will take uh, Ozobots off the tablet onto a track, race around the track, and then you can influence Ozobot when it gets back onto the and tablet. And multiple multiple players, multiple bots. Most of our, our games are, are multiple player, just once again to bring that whole social gaming back and into the And when are they available? They are going to be available in August at the retail stores. Sure, and what's the cost? The cost is $59.95, and, the cost, and the, with that you get all the, all the apps on iOS and on Android. And how is it powered? It is powered through a LiPo battery, so it's, uh, you can automatically re recharge. They'll play about 50 minutes, 5-0. On continuous play, some of our strategy games where you actually have to think about making a move before um, Ozobot needs to move, it can play north of an hour and twenty, an hour and thirty minutes. And is uh, what platforms for the app? Uh, iOS and Android. Great. And tablet only? I would imagine. Well, because you need a larger surface. Kind tablet of. only. We actually yeah. have a couple of little apps for um, for the iPhones as well, and for the Samsungs. Um, a little bit of our social games are are on the tablets. I can show you some of our social games are kind of fun. Um, that's our groove, our dance game, our... Ooh, what's a dance game? Sorry. Our Ozo Groove. Um, Ozo wow. Groove, wow. He's, it's basically you can start to kind of do a little <laughs> uh, scratching and turn them around. You add a couple of them into it. You can, whoa, he just knocked him right off the tablet. Um, you'll be able to uh, stream your music right right through here, and then you can start to chore choreograph dance moves for Ozobot to uh, play to your to your favorite songs. You can actually draw whatever you want. So you can, I can, let me draw a nice part, bring another thing in here, uh, introduce Ozobot, go OK. And whatever drawing you just did, you can start to spin it, and it becomes you can do your own scratching on your own your own music and your own dance floor. How many different games are in an app? Uh, we're going to be coming out with with six apps right off the right off the shoot. Where we're going to come out with four, but it looks like we're going to we have six of them already ready. And to how go. are you pricing those? Are those? They're all free okay. with the purchase of the Ozobots. Great. Great. We are introducing third third uh, third party developer programs. So they might charge for their apps, but everything coming out of Ozobot is going to be free with the purchase. Well, Nader, thank you very much. Sure, absolutely.